This is the Med Slit Paper 1 for November 2021. Let's go to question 1. Alright, so the information is given on the right. Questions to your left. And I will trust that you will go through the information in your own question paper at your own time. But basically, this table gives us the prices for two different years, 2019 and 2021. And the last column gives us the exchange rates in terms of one US dollar. And we must answer questions using all this information. So 1.1.1, calculate the fuel price increase for Zimbabwe from 2019 to 2021. So we'll use the Zimbabwe row. So this is easy. If we take the 2021 price, and we minus the 2019 price, the old price, that will give us the increase. So let's do that quickly. Go to your calculator to check. You will find that the difference is 0, 0,458 Zimbabwean dollars, and that is the increase. Moving on. Write down the current exchange rate of the Botswana Pula to the US dollar. All right, if we look at the last column, all these exchange rates are given in terms of one US dollar. So if you look at the very, very last uh, row, we're told that 11. 14 Botswana Pulas is equal to 1 US dollar. And of course, we are asked to write it in this format. We must have 1 Botswana Pula equals to the US dollar. So, how do we then uh, get this one, the coefficient of 1? We can, of course, multiply 11,14 by 11,14. That will give us 1. But uh, to keep the balance of the equation, we must also do that division on the right hand side. And of course, 11, 14 divided by 11, 14 will give us 1 Botswana Pula. Let's do the calculation for the right hand side. 1 US dollar. All right, we can actually round this off to two decimal places. So will give us 0, 0,09 US dollars. And that is our solution. Moving on. 1.1.3, identify the countries which showed a decrease in fuel price from 2019 to 2021. So which countries show the decrease so let's look at these countries one by one south africa increased it did not decrease angola decreased so angola is the first country that had a decrease in fuel price zimbabwe increased also namibia also decreased so namibia the second country with a decrease in fuel price swaziland increased uh did not decrease Finally, Botswana also decreased. So Botswana is the last country which showed a decrease in the fuel price, Botswana. All right, moving on to 1.1.4. Arrange in descending order the fuel price in the US dollar for uh, 1st of March 2021. Again, we're going to use the 2021 column take those prices and arrange them in descending order, meaning from the largest to the smallest. Zimbabwe has the largest price, 1,258, followed by South Africa with 1,000. Then Swaziland to 0 0,87. Namibia, Botswana, 
and the smallest price was Angola, 0, 0,254. All right, so moving on. All right, uh, 1.1.5. The probability of randomly selecting a country that is not South Africa is five over six. Write this probability in decimal form. First of all, you must write this in decimal form, and then it must be rounded off to three decimal places. All right, so that's easy. We are given the probability as a fraction. We're told it's five over six. So if you want to write it as a decimal, must first press equal to, and that is the button S to D that convert the fraction to a decimal. So we go to that button, uh, and that's the answer that we get. But we must only have three digits after the comma, so the answer will be zero comma eight three three, and that is the solution. So moving on. All right. So for one point two, we will be using the bar graph, the stat bar graph on the right, to answer the questions on the left. All right. Two point one point two one point two point one. Identify the source of energy that is most commonly used for cooking. Now, if we look at all these provinces, you will see that the lightly shaded, this lightly shaded bar, is actually The biggest one for all the provinces, and that is the. If we look at the key, that's the electricity bar. So electricity is the energy source that is mostly used for cooking. One point two point two. Name the province that uses most wood for cooking. Now, if we look at uh, the key for wood, it would be the. Uh, bar, those would be the bar, the bars with the diagonal lines, and if you look at these provinces, you could see that this one, the uh, Limpopo, the last one, is the province with the largest bar of the with the diagonal lines, the wood bar. Uh, so Limpopo, one point two point three. The price of paraffin fluctuates, goes up and down, and on third Feb 2021, the price was 764,59 cents per liter. A. Write down in rand. That's important. The cost of one liter of paraffin. So again, this is this will still be the cost per liter because it's for one liter. The only requirement here is that we must change the cents to rands. All right, and of course, this is a conversion. We know that one rand has a hundred cents. So, if you want to change the price from cents to rands, we're actually going backwards. So, in our conversion, we're going backwards. So, we are dividing by hundred. So, we will take the seven hundred and sixty-four fifty-nine cents per liter, and we will divide it by one hundred. Let's go to your calculator quickly. So then the answer is seven rand and sixty five cents. You can actually round this off to two decimals because it's money uh, for one liter. So this is seven rand sixty five cents. Per liter, so that's the cost per liter. Then we move on to B. Determine to the nearest rand the cost of twelve point five liters. We know the cost of one liter, so the cost of one liter is seven rand sixty five cents. That's the cost per liter. So if we multiply it by twelve point five liters. Those liters will cancel, and you can actually then calculate your cost in rands.、Um, so if you take the previous answer and you might you multiply by twelve point five liters, you will get the cost of twelve and a half liters, which is ninety five rands and fifty seven cents. If you round it off to two decimal places, again because it's money. Name 
another form of energy that's 1.2.4 that could be used for cooking which could fall under the other category so we've got electricity we've got gas we've got paraffin we've got wood what else could be used for cooking uh coal coal could also be used for cooking all right then we move on to the last part of question one all right for 1.3 we're told that the following questions were taken from the company's information sheet all right those are the questions there are five questions that were issued uh, in order to collect information all right so let's go to the questions 1.3.1 identify the data collection instrument that was used to collect the above information all right so as you can see uh, the person was given questions so that instrument would be a questionnaire a list of questions questionnaire all right uh, there were five questions issued in the form of a questionnaire remember uh, a survey could also be used to collect information an interview could also be used to collect information all right and then the next question name the step in the data cycle after the instrument has been completed and collected all right so the four steps in the data cycle and you must know this the first one is that you collect the data or the information secondly you organize that data and then you summarize the data finally you present the data uh, you could use graphs and uh, so forth so after the questions have been collected uh, the next step would be number two organize the data all right 1.3.3 uh, state whether the choices given in question d represent categorical or numerical all right so let's look at uh, question d above this is question d so question d the person is asked were the books you bought hard copies or soft copies all right so that would obviously be categorical because a person can only choose between those two categories either they bought a hard copy or a soft copy so they are choosing between categories so this is categorical data all right if you look at uh, the previous question look at c how many books have you bought in the last three months so the person must give a number here right so the person will either say i bought two books i bought one book because they're given a number for this uh, to answer this question this would be numerical for number right but for d it's categorical because the person must choose between categories 1.3.4 write the acronym that in full of course we all know this that stands for value added tax and the final question give an example of a business that should find the above information useful i think a bookshop would find this information useful all right that's the end of question one